Guten Tag, bonjour. Welcome to the Languages Department at Stratton Upper School, where we offer A-level German and A-level French. Let's look at what's involved. Studying a language at A-level gives you so many opportunities. Apart from the understanding of target language countries and the world around us, and giving us an insight into the history and culture of the target language countries, studying a language at A-level gives you greater employability skills, such as problem solving, communication, teamwork. And it really is a subject area that can take you places, quite literally. Studying a language at A-level is a really interesting option, a lot more interesting than your GCSE, where you spend a lot of time talking about your holidays or the town in which you live. An A-level language is more like a general studies course. It focuses on the target language society, the politics, the artistic culture. And there are so many elements which you perhaps wouldn't have experienced otherwise without studying an A-level language. We also study a literary text and a film. And you have the opportunity also to complete an independent research project on a topic of your own choice. This can be related to the course that we've already studied or you can really branch out on your own and cover something that really interests you about the target language countries. It's important to recognise that French and German are spoken around the world and you can, in your project, take advantage of that and look at the different aspects of society around the world. Examples of independent research topics might be talking about the role of renewable energy or fashion, the COVID response, gastronomy. There are so many different options, but it really is a very interesting course. So if you are interested in the world around you, if you are interested in current affairs, a language at A-level is really something that you should consider studying. The A-level German and A-level French courses are assessed in exactly the same way and we focus on the four key skills that you studied at GCSE of listening, reading, writing and speaking. This time there are three papers. The first paper is listening, reading and writing based on the topic areas covered within the course. The difference between the GCSE and the A-level here is that you have control over the listening. So you are individually in control of the tracks, you can listen to them as many times as you want. You can fast forward, rewind, do what you want with the tracks. And that gives people a lot more confidence in answering the questions and tackling the paper. The paper two is writing and you have two essays to complete here. One is on the literary text and one on the film. But don't worry about this, you do get a lot of opportunity in your lessons to practice these and to get a head around writing an essay in another language. Paper three is the shortest paper, it's the speaking paper and within this exam you complete a presentation and discussion about your independent research project and you also look at some of the topic areas covered within the course. Where can an A-level language take me? Quite literally anywhere. A-level languages complement a variety of different subjects, including medicine and law at university. A language is a facilitating subject, which means that it can be used in conjunction with so many other subjects. It gives you the skills to learn other languages in the future, which is quite of interest to lots of people. And you have the opportunity at university to study most courses with an element of a language in there which gives you the chance to study abroad or work abroad, complete an internship abroad, and basically develop your own confidence and skills within linguistic ability. And after medicine and law, it's worthy of note that a degree in a language is the most employable degree. So the world really is your oyster. And as you can see from the word cloud, it can take the foreign office, the military, HR, medicine, the police, sociology, archaeology, pilot, the NHS, journalism, fine art. The list is endless. It really is a really worthwhile subject to be taking. 
So for final information, if you do have any questions or would like any further information about studying a language at A-level, please contact Mrs Ridley, Miss Hunstone or Miss Lawrence on the email addresses below. Thank you. Bye.